Live from the Mercedes-Benz interview lounge, it's JoJo on the radio, and that's Sisney, who is dressed exactly like Dua Lipa. Well, no, What's no, up, not Dua? exactly, just the same we color. We planned it, we planned it, we planned it. We're both don't wearing, know. we're both wearing, oh, I can't tell you? Or oh, I can't no, tell anybody? Don't, don't tell anyone that we didn't plan it. Oh, we did plan it. Yeah, Sisney, come on. Dua Lipa <laughs> and I, we call, we text <laughs> each other, and we're both wearing black and red leather, matching, <laughs> super cute. Oh my God, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, ecstatic that we're matching. I mean, it's like, I'm done. I have to say something. I, I am obsessed with, and yeah, I, I think you know this, maybe, with the British accent. I found out, I took a 23andMe test. I'm British. Oh, no way. 100%. <laughs> What's your percentage? I am 45% wow, from England. Oh, that's... And like 20 from Scotland and like 15 or 10 from... I'll show you later. It's something like that. It's, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. I believe you. No, uh, I you should believe me. Believe you. How's life doing? Give me, some, give me an good. update. Life's good. How's your British accent? It's not very good, actually. But I'm working on it, but you know. But yeah, you got to work on it a little bit more with all that percentage. You got to do. You think I would have it can down? Can you do an American accent? Um, I think I can like do a little bit of an American accent. Wow, that's pretty good. No. It sounds it kind weird? of Valley Girl-ish, but I not like quite. It. Super Valley yeah, Girl. It's very Studio City. I think, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, you yeah, crushed it's, it. It's hard for me to like <laughs> think about an American accent and not go straight Valley Girl. <laughs> so good. funny. Crushed it. All right, so you, you were talking kind of off air here. You've been, I said, have you spent much time in LA lately or in London? And you, you said you've been all over the planet. Mm. What, 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 what have you been doing? Just a tour and all this crazy I've thing? been on tour. I mean, I started rehearsals in January. I've been on the road since February. I just did my last tour show on the 28th of November. Goodness gracious. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I saw your tour here actually at the forum yes. um, uh, at the beginning of this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Thank you. Congratulations on this tour. It was so, so much, much fun. Um, I opted to be on the floor so that we could dance the entire time because that's, that's what it was. Yes, it was like I didn't want to be in a seat. I wanted to be on the dance floor, man. It was so much fun. I'll tell you what, this the album, you know? Yeah. Like once Don't Start Now came, you know, it, when that when that hit, and I told you this, that song hit me more than <laughs> any song in the last, maybe over the last three or four years. It just hit me so hard. And then the tough part is when you have a song like that to come back with songs that top that. Mm. I don't know what kind of magic you get in whatever, but you really have done it. So my next question obviously is, is the album after this. Yes. I know there's probably a lot of James Bond top secret kind of stuff you can't say, mm. but what can you say about this upcoming project? Um, is it what, an album? For what can I say? It's an, it's an album. Yeah, okay, another one. All right. L I hope. Yes. I hope so. <laughs> um... And I'm I'm in the process of writing it, and it's shaping up nicely. This is way she, this is how she answers without answering. Well, anything. will it be as up tempo? I guess <laughs> is where he's trying to get, or will it it's, be completely different? It will be. There will definitely be up tempo. Yes. Right. You know, it's, it's, I love that. to do, that's do it. After all that touring. Is there? You is, know, I, I won't let up on that. Okay. On that good. Side good. 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 Sure. Is there a collab? I heard this, and I'm I don't know if it's true. Is there a collab with Mick Jagger? No, in the mix. Collab. Scratch that one off the we list. Were just, we were just hanging out in the studio. I mean, you can imagine why we think that, though, right? Because you, know, you I mean, post something like that. <laughs> man. Well, okay. Holidays. What are we doing for the holidays? I'm going to be in London, and I'm not leaving. Just going to hang out? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. hang out. I've really, I've not spent any time at home. I'm excited to see my friends. I'm excited to be with my family, with my siblings. I, um, I also, every time I go to London, I feel like I'm such a creature of habit. I end up going to the same places. Yeah. And so I need to rediscover my city again because I've just been working nonstop. So it'll be nice to just be home for a little while and just find all the new places that I that I love. So, and she yeah. knows all the places. We, we went to London uh, 2019 before the pandemic hit. And she gave uh, me and my That's wife, amazing. Dean and daughter Sophie, some places to go. And oh, she knows. Cool. At, we went to a couple of those places. Okay, good. Did you enjoy it? Love. I'm British. Of course, I would love London. <laughs> no, I would British. love London, you know. <laughs> okay. uh, thoughts on 2023. Give us a little, you know, what are your goals? What do we got? Uh, finish my album. That's yeah, it's pretty really big at deal. The top. And then I, I've, um, I've got a project uh, called Service Ninety Five, which is a daily newsletter and a podcast as well. So that's gonna, that's gonna take over. Like for me, that's gonna be a priority while I finish the record. So I'm gonna be working on that. That's more really really cool. Uh, so yeah. Any you know, more questions? I'm well, sorry. you know, your collab uh, with Elton John was so successful and on top of that performing with him at Dodger Stadium for one of his final shows must have been like so special yes. what was that feeling like just and it was just a couple weeks ago honestly it was absolutely surreal you know I, I've grown up listening to Elton John he's been one of my biggest inspirations and to be able to share that moment with him and be on that stage was something that I really never thought yeah. my career would ever take me into that direction so it was really special and it's a moment that I will like cherish forever and um yeah, I'm really grateful that, that he had me 
He had me join him for his last Dodgers show. Am I the only one that doesn't believe that that's his last show? Well, maybe in America. America. Yeah, in America. That's his last America. I think it's a nice, funny way to say it. Now we got to go across the pond. Uh, Do anything else people need to know? Um, Or is that pretty much a wrap for today and you're jumping on stage here? I think that's pretty much a wrap and I got to go get ready and jump on stage. All right. At the end of every interview, fist bump to make it official. Give you a ba Sis, come on. Boom. Once again, yeah, backstage, Kiss FM, Jingle Ball. That's Dua. Back in a sec.